love you, Lord. Come on, worship him with us this morning. For your mercy never fails me. And all my days have been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. And I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on, tell them all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been faithful. Thank you, Jesus. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able. And I will see of the goodness of God. I love your voice. Thank you, Jesus. You have led me through the fire in my darkest night. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on and tell them all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been faithful. Thank you, Jesus. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able. And I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on and tell them, your goodness is running after me, Jesus. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. Glory to God. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. Tell him your goodness. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. Glory to God. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Good morning to you, saints of the Most High. I have, the, have the, another great honor and privilege to present another one of these powerful women of God to you who work along with me and Pastor Amy at Miracle Healing Center. Her name is Tasca Harrison. We both like to tease Tasca because she helps open the service for us at Miracle Healing Center. You see her almost at least once a month opening the service. Tasca jumps around. She have no shame. She's supposed to be working the altar, but a whole lot of times we are mopping her up off the ground or picking her up off the ground. She, Tasca just lets loose. She's like a like a loose cannon sometimes. <laughs> but what a blessing it is to have these women of God working with us in the ministry. And we know Tasca is going to bless you with the word of God on this morning. We present to you Tasca Harrison. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to another morning broadcast with Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy with Miracle Healing Center. I am privileged. I am honored to be a part of this ministry. I give God the glory for the opportunity I am standing in on today for Pastor Sean. And certainly it is a privilege. So I just want to say good morning again to you all. Thank you all for joining us on today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do believe that God has a word for you on today. God has a word for me on today. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Father, we just give you the glory on this morning, God. Father God, we ask that you have your way, Lord God. Father God, you know every need, Daddy God. And Father God, we believe on this morning, hallelujah, Lord, that you will meet 
every need, God, according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Father God, I ask on this morning, God, that you just do what needs to be done, Daddy God. Father God, give us a word that we need on today, Father God. Lord God, we are thankful, God, for another broadcast this morning, Lord. We are thankful, Father, for Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy Pender, God. Oh, we give you the glory this morning, God, for Miracle Healing Center Church. Hallelujah. I just want to thank you for joining this morning. Hallelujah. We want to give you a word on this morning. So our theme for today is never give up. I'm going to say that again. The word for today is never give up. Hallelujah. And, as, and this is my topic that I'm going to add to our theme. There is a purpose for your process. Hallelujah. There is a purpose for your process. There is a purpose for my process. Hallelujah. We give God the glory for his word. So what we want to talk about this morning, I want to talk a little bit about the book of Ruth. When we talk about never giving up, I love the book of Ruth. That's one of my favorite books in the Bible. And Ruth was certainly a woman of God, hallelujah, that did not give up. The book of Ruth is a beautiful example of how God can take a hopeless situation, hallelujah, and turn it into something glorious. The story begins in tragedy with famine and the death of Ruth and Naomi's husbands. But because Ruth is loyal and faithful, God rewards her. As a widow and an outsider in her community, Ruth came and Ruth had it easily abandoned her mother. She could have abandoned her mother-in-law, Naomi, but she continued. She could, have, she could have just walked away, but Ruth believed that her mother-in-law, Naomi, she wanted to serve Naomi's God. She must have saw the anointing, hallelujah, on Naomi's life, her mother-in-law. Ruth was very faithful to God, and Naomi was more important to her. Her loyalty, I said her loyalty, served as her foundation for navigating the challenges of daily life. The book of, of Ruth says in book 1 and 16, but Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. Come on, somebody. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Hallelujah. I just want to say never give up. I want us to understand that there is a purpose for your process. There is a purpose for your process. Never give up. Hallelujah. So despite the tragedies and, and, and the misfortunes in Ruth's life, despite the fact, oh, come on, somebody, of her being a widow, Ruth believed she had a purpose. I want y'all to do something for me. Type below this video, there is a purpose in your process. I'm going to say that again. Type below the video, there is a purpose for your process. Ruth's faithfulness to God and Naomi was so important to her. Amen. Let me ask you a question on this morning. How many of you know that there is a purpose to your process? How many of you know on this morning that nothing really is a coincidence? There is a purpose for your process. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You see, God has given each and every one of us a purpose. 
He has given us clear instructions, believe it or not. How do I know he gave me clear instructions? In any situation and in any circumstance, there is a purpose. Listen to me this morning, saints. But you know when we decide to follow God's purpose, we're going to lose some things. We're going to lose some things to gain some things. Hallelujah. We're going to lose some things to gain some things. We may leave family. We may lose friends. You see, you're willing to say yes to the will of God. It means a lot. There is a purpose for your process. Just, just work with me this morning. Hallelujah. In Genesis 12, 1 through 3, the Lord had said to Abram, leave your native country. Leave your relatives. Leave your father, your father's family, huh? And go to a land that I will show you. Now, how many knows that take faith to do that? He said, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you huh? and make you famous and you will be a blessing to others. Amen. You see, I can only imagine for Abram, this act had to take great faith. Amen. I like to call it blind faith. Okay, God tells you, leave your, leave your comfort zone, and I will show you. Oh, come on, somebody, this morning. You see, when God gives us an order, we have the option to say yes, Lord, or no. But just keep in mind, there is a, say it with me, there is a purpose to your process. Amen. Oh, God, we thank you on this morning. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you on this morning, Holy Spirit. Father God, there is someone out there, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to your name, God. You're debating. You're wrestling. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Because as we move into the will of God, as we say yes to the will of God, then we begin to realize there really is a purpose for our process. Never give up. You see, God didn't say that it would be easy. He gives us instructions and he gives us direction from, from, from Genesis to Revelation, to be perfectly honest. He is not a God that will lie. He's going to make it clear. Oh, hallelujah, God. In 1 Samuel 15 and 22, the word of God tells us that obedience is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many know, how many know, how many know that Abram believed that there was a purpose in his process? He was determined never to give up. He was determined to trust God. You see, sometimes we have to trust God even when we can't trace the process. Trust him and never, ever give up. Hallelujah. I hope that somebody is being blessed on this morning. Hallelujah. I hope that someone is being blessed on this morning. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. You see, in verses 14 to 22 in the book of Ruth, there were many things that began to take place. Hallelujah. You know, God gave Ruth favor. Ruth understood that there was anointing on her mother-in-law's life. Hallelujah. 
There were many things that began to take place. Oh, we give God the glory on today. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. And then we move on to chapter 2, Root, the book of Ruth chapter 2. It talks about the favor of God, that the favor that God showed unto Ruth. Amen. You see, this is where Boaz comes into the picture. Hallelujah. And verses 1 through 10, it talks about as Boaz came into the picture. Hallelujah, Father God. We thank you on this morning, Father. Ruth was given favor. And the favor that Ruth received is because Ruth was determined never to give up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you the glory on today. We give you the glory, God, on today. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, there is someone that is watching, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, they are praying for direction, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now, Daddy God, that you would strengthen in the name of Jesus, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Let them know, Father God. Let let her know, Father God. Let him know, Father God, that you are God and you are God all by yourself, Lord God. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, we're talking about never giving up. Hallelujah. And when we talk about never giving up, we've got to come to realize that not every situation is going to be peaches and cream. Come on, somebody. Not every situation is going to turn out the way we may expect it to turn out. As we talked a little bit about Abraham, hallelujah, Abraham had to trust God. Abraham didn't know what he was walking into. Come on now. But because Abraham believed God and Abraham was determined to never give up and Abraham understood uh, that there is a purpose in the process. So because of that, Abraham didn't have a problem. Uh, Abraham didn't have a problem leaving. Come on now. So God is saying to us on this morning to never give up. God is saying to us this morning that he is God all by himself. God is saying to us this morning that he is the Alpha and the Omega. That means he is the beginning and the end. You see, I like to say that these times that we are living in, these are the in-between times. I say that's just my way of seeing it. It's the in-between that that we sometimes don't understand. Come on now. It's the in between where we learn to trust God even when we can't trace his hand. But he is God and he never ever changes. So I just want to encourage you on this morning to never, never give up. Hallelujah. It was in Ruth chapter 4, 13. This is the place that when, when I say God, God gave Ruth favor and Boaz came into the picture. I know that is too much for us to talk about on this morning. So I'm just giving some of the chapters and on your own time, read it for yourself. But you see in chapter 4 is where Boaz took Ruth, come on now, 4, 13, Boaz took Ruth into his home and she became his wife. So what am I saying on today? Because of her loyalty, come on, because she had loyalty to God. She had loyalty to her mother-in-law. She believed the anointing on her mother-in-law's life. And so she said, wherever you go, I will go. But let me say this. How about this? If Ruth did not believe, come on now, if Ruth did not believe that there was purpose in her process, would she really have followed Naomi? But because of this, she was blessed. Amen. I just want to encourage us on this morning. So I just want to end it like this. You see, Ruth she never gave up. Her sacrifice and hard work to provide for Naomi reflected God's love. I'm going to say that again. You see, her hard work and sacrifice provided, providing for Naomi, it reflected God's love. 
So Boaz's loyalty, this is how this thing worked out. You see, so Boaz's loyalty, come on somebody, to his kinsman, Naomi, husband, it reflected God's faithfulness. Are we seeing how this thing is working out? And then Naomi's plan for Ruth's future, it reflected selfless love. Ruth's story shows us, this is what I like. Ruth's story, it shows us that God is still there for us, even, even in the small and ordinary moments of our lives. He never leaves nor forsakes us. That's his promise to us. He's there even in those moments that we think he isn't. He's there. He's there, woman of God. He's there, man of God. Even this morning, hallelujah, as you're listening to this morning broadcast, as you're listening to this morning broadcast, Miracle Healing Center by the pastor Sean and Amy Pender, as you're listening to this morning broadcast, God is there even in those moments. Our lives are just like Ruth, to be honest. You see, if we're faithful in small things, then God would bless us with larger things. <laughs> come on now, come on, come on, come on. Who the Ruth faith was great. And she faced challenges. She faced challenges like poverty. She faced challenges like death and social discrimination. We can get family. We can get through any struggle. We can get through any situation. We can get through any circumstance. Because our God is faithful. If we're faithful unto him, he will also be faithful unto us. So again on this morning, I just want to say never give up. I don't care what that thing looks like. You see, the devil is going to throw everything at us, everything, everything, from the smallest to the largest. That's what he does. But you, family, this morning, you, man of God, you, woman of God, I just want to encourage us this morning to never give up. And believe me, there is a purpose in your process. Let's pray this morning. Hallelujah. Father God, we just want to thank you for this morning's broadcast, Lord. We just want to thank you, God, for all that you've done, for all that you're doing, and all that's to come. And Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, I ask Daddy God, everyone, Lord God, that is listening to this morning broadcast, everyone, Father God, that will listen to this morning broadcast, I ask, Father, that you would give them strength in the name of Jesus. Give them the strength that is needed to face whatever challenges they may be facing, God. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, help them to know God. Help them to believe, Father. Father, to never give up because there is truly, truly, truly a purpose in your process. Again, we want to thank you for joining on this morning, Miracle Healing Center, where we have Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy Pender. We want to thank you for joining this morning broadcast. And I am so grateful to God for this blessed opportunity. I do not take it lightly. I do not take it lightly that I have the opportunity to sit in on this morning for Pastor Sean. We want to bless each and every one of you, and never, ever, ever give up. We love you. Have a blessed day. Thank you. I'm asking 300 of you who have never partnered with this ministry or never done something significant, and you know this ministry has been a blessing to millions of you around the world. 
I'm asking 300 people to make a commitment for the next 12 months to stand with this ministry, and I'm asking you to do something significant to help us continue to preach this gospel around the world. We want to begin three nights of miracles in a few months, but we cannot accomplish this by ourselves. We need you to stand with us financially. We need you to make a commitment for the next 12 months to do something significant. And people, this is not a joke. This is not a game. I'm very serious about this. If you know you are able to do it and you can make that commitment for the next 12 months, I want you to do something significant for the next 12 months to help us do what God is calling us to do. You know me and Pastor Amy, we take these things very serious. To give in this offering, you can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry app. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry Cash App account. The ministry Cash App address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Venmo account. The ministry Venmo account is at Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Listen, Maine Past Amy, we love all of you. We appreciate you. And a tremendous, a huge thank you to our, to our partners who make this broadcast possible to help us take this gospel around the world. We love all of you. Join us again on tomorrow morning for another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you.